like how do you differentiate from other investors and also convince that these founders who don't need money to take your money? That's right. That is the question. In fact, I think you're one of the ones that has repeated this adage to me that I've heard in other places as well is that the best companies are bought, not sold, right? And so if you take that, if you have a good thesis from an investor perspective, you're like, I want to do that. Then you can focus on the founders that are working on that, right? And when you talk to a founder and you've probably had many or not probably, I know you've had many investors that have reached out to you, you can smell out right away that these investors actually don't know what they're talking about. And, they just and send so, you a mass email. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they just, you know, they hire some random person to send out a bunch of emails. But uh, investors that actually take the time to understand the space where this company is playing matters, right? So you need to do your homework. You need to do that. Then there's, there is still a human element of connectivity. And I do think that is a trait that I've been able to develop. Maybe some of it is just my personality, but I think I've been able to develop that trait where you need to really build trust with founders, right? 